Hello everyone, it's Mark and welcome back. In this video I want to talk to you about the Baker Act and if you have been Baker Acted in the past and the police come to your house or your home, does that mean automatically you're going to get Baker Acted again? So this email, um, this message actually came through the Baker Act Attorney's website and I thought it was a really terrific question so kudos for the person who sent it to me. And basically um, that individual is indicating they had been uh, Baker Acted in the past and they were afraid that if the police came to their house that they would automatically get Baker Acted. Uh, somebody had told them um, that you know it's automatic. So I'm here to sort of clear that up and tell you that that simply isn't true. Um, first of all, there's no limit on how many times you can get Baker Acted, but I, I would say from a practical uh, point of view that if you, um, if you have been Baker Acted once, twice, three times um, and you've been allowed to leave there, at some point the state's going to decide that you know, they need to keep you and you won't be getting out so quickly, if at all. And so, um, look, there's no sort of, there's nothing automatic about it. But yeah, look, if you've been Baker Acted a number of times and the police come over to your house and you are exhibiting signs which clearly establish that you continue to meet criteria or that you now meet criteria, yeah, there's a chance they're going to Baker Act you. But look, there's nothing automatic about it, okay? And anybody who tells you anything to, to the contrary, um, respectfully, doesn't know what they're talking about, okay? Um, any and each time you get Baker Acted, you are supposed to meet criteria. Um, and if you don't, they're not supposed to Baker Act you, regardless of whether or not you've been Baker Acted in the past, and if so, how many times. So, anyway, great question. Um, I always encourage people to send me questions. As you can see, I, I love talking about this topic. Uh, I must have, apparently I have no personal life because I'm making a lot of videos about the Baker Act, but I, I like to think I'm helping people, right? I mean, if you can't afford to hire a lawyer, or you don't want to hire a lawyer, I want you to make sure you get access to the information because that can help you to decide if you even need one. And perhaps you don't, and if you don't, I'll be the first one to tell you. So with that said, thanks for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.